All rise. We've gathered to pass judgment on Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies in an official Game Trailers Review. Prosecution, please proceed with your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, Dual Destinies is horrible. It's hardly a game at all. I mean, you don't do anything. Most of Dual Destinies, in fact, is spent skipping through boring, C-grade anime text. Why would anyone play this? Plus, it's on a Nintendo platform. Objection! The game's platform is irrelevant, Your Honor. Sustained, the prosecution will refrain from needless insults. The prosecution has grossly oversimplified dual destinies, Your Honor. He's making sweeping generalizations without offering any substantive criticism. Exactly. This is a game trailer's review, after all. Objection! Look. Look, look, look. We messed up with Shadow the Hedgehog, okay? And 8.3 was crazy. It won't happen again. Past mistakes shouldn't cloud contemporary reviews. Dual Destinies is a good game. Objection! Vague statements prove nothing. What evidence supports the game's quality? If only the prosecution was a bit more patient, the defense was just about to arrive at that point. The most obvious improvement in Dual Destinies is its appearance. Every other Ace Attorney game features a 2D, sprite-based look that was previously inseparable from the series. Dual Destinies is the first Ace Attorney in 3D. The upgrade retains its well-known style while still feeling different. The new models are well animated, often exhibiting exaggerated, comical expressions that make Dual Destinies exceptionally likable. Now that's all fine and good, but what does it matter if Dual Destinies isn't worth playing? Looks can only get you so far. As with other Ace Attorney games, Dual Destinies is at its best when it's testing your deductive skills. In each of the five episodes, you're tasked with collecting, examining, and piecing together evidence to prevent the false conviction of defendants. Doing this isn't always easy, since you must pay attention to the tiniest details. The game rewards thorough preparation and punishes guesswork. A piece of evidence that initially seemed trivial may be exactly what you need to win a case. As such, Dual Destinies offers plenty of rewarding moments when you finally figure out how to push forward. Objection! Members of the jury, don't let that flattery fool you. While it's all technically true, everything the defense just claimed has been part of Ace Attorney from the beginning. Do you deny that? These games never change. Game trailers always harps on other games for regurgitating the same experience. What makes Dual Destinies so different? Hold it! The prosecution is getting ahead of itself. I never stated that Dual Destinies is a special case. I'm merely here to refute that it's a horrible game. Admittedly, Dual Destinies is extremely similar to other Ace Attorney games, which is a disappointment. The game follows the series structure to a fault. You go through five episodes alternating between investigations and trials. There are few surprises with the pacing, making much of Dual Destinies predictable. From the sound of it, nothing's changed at all! It might as well be Zelda! The biggest gameplay change is incredibly weak. A special program called the Mood Matrix allows you to find inconsistencies between witnesses' testimonies and what they're feeling. For example, why would somebody be happy when they're recalling a near-death experience? Picking an emotion that contradicts a testimony offers little challenge, since there aren't any consequences for selecting the wrong one. If it doesn't matter what you choose, why doesn't the game just decide for you? <laughs> The defense practically handing over the case on a silver platter. Let me get this straight. Okay, outside of the 3D, everything good about Dual Destinies has been done in previous games. And what's new isn't even special. It sounds like the defense is defending a pile of trash. Objection! The prosecution is making a classic game reviewer mistake. Dual Destinies is more than the sum of its parts. Sometimes it isn't about how much a game has, but how meaningful the things it does have are. Objection! Can the defense stop pretending like he's in some high school poetry class and get to the point? The point is Dual Destinies is better than its list of features gives it credit for. The game succeeds on the strength of its characters, 
perfect example is Athena Sykes, a plucky new attorney that remains optimistic despite a pretty horrible past. Her enthusiasm energizes almost every scene she's in, making her a valuable and well-developed addition to the cast. Objection! Every Ace Attorney game has likable characters. This is hardly a revelation. Objection! Just because something's been done before doesn't make it less valid. Order, order in the court. I've heard enough, it's time for a verdict. The defense has made a strong argument against Dual Destinies being a horrible game. However, it's hard to ignore the prosecution's accusations of the series repeating itself. While it worked this time, I think we can all agree that we'd like the next game to differentiate itself to a greater degree. Bearing that in mind, what would the defense deem an appropriate score? A seven, your honor. We're not on a 10 point scale. You can't score every game with the whole number. That doesn't make any sense. The decimal values seem arbitrary. Silence, what is your score? Um, uh, that's, that's 7.3, your honor. Does the prosecution agree? What? No! This isn't how the judicial system or refuse are supposed to work! This was weird! Case closed. <laughs>